Malawi President Lazarus Chakwera has taken a bold stance in international finance, demanding that the IMF and World Bank cancel their debts to the nation due to their inability to make payments. This move has garnered significant attention and sparked discussions about the implications for both Malawi and the global financial landscape. President Lazarus Chakwera issued this compelling call to developed nations and international financial institutions in his address at the 78th United Nations General Assembly in New York. He emphasized that many least developed countries, including Malawi, are grappling with the overwhelming burden of perpetual debt repayment, hindering their economic progress in comparison to developed nations. Chakwera warned that the ambitious goal of eradicating poverty by 2030, as outlined in the Sustainable Development Goals, could remain a mere rhetoric if developing countries are not granted debt relief. African nations are increasingly assertive in their stance that they will not continue repaying their debts. This bold position highlights the growing sentiment that African countries have already repaid their loans to institutions like the World Bank and IMF many times over. Many African leaders argue that the debt has been more than settled and they are no longer willing to make further payments. African countries have traditionally been cautious about discussing their debt-related concerns, often fearing exclusion from international financial markets. However, a noticeable shift is occurring as African leaders, like President William Ruto, voice the need to reconsider lending practices and credit rating metrics for the continent. The architecture is set up in a manner that if you borrow, it will be difficult for you to pay. President Lazarus Chakwera of Malawi has taken a bold stance, acknowledging that while he doesn't want to outright refuse payment, the reality is that the debt has become unsustainable for many least developed countries. His call, on behalf of all LDCs, remains consistent. Debt cancellation is urgently needed. President Chakwera of Malawi reiterated the urgent need for concrete actions regarding debt relief, underscoring that Malawi, like many least developed countries, finds itself in an unsustainable debt situation. His impassioned plea on behalf of all LDCs remains consistent. Debt cancellation is imperative. Chakwera highlighted that the global community, including the United Nations, has experienced sluggish economic growth in recent years, primarily due to factors such as the COVID-19 pandemic, natural disasters, and the ongoing Ukraine conflict. These challenges serve as compelling reasons to alleviate the debt burden on developing nations. This call for debt relief marks President Chakwera's second address to the UN General Assembly, following his inaugural speech last year when he urged advanced economies, particularly China, to forgive African countries some of their debt obligations. President Chakwera continues his diplomatic efforts, engaging with leaders of various international institutions to seek financial support aimed at facilitating Malawi's economic recovery and growth. For instance, in Ghana, the economy took a nosedive. To put it into context, over the last year, inflation skyrocketed from 12.7% in December to a peak of 50% at some point in 2022, and now it's at 40%. The Ghanaian currency lost 60% of its value against the dollar. Fuel prices shot up by over 30%, while food prices surged by over 122%. The debt-to-GDP ratio soared over 80%, and the debt-to-revenue ratio crossed 50%. Prices of basic commodities like electricity, water, and transport increased by over 30%. All of this in an economy where the minimum wage is about a dollar a day. If you're spending half of your revenue on servicing debt, the country ends up having to borrow more to manage its affairs and even more to pay off existing debts. This situation becomes even more challenging because most African countries borrow in dollars, and with the United States raising its rate in recent years, the scarcity of the dollar in the market and the depreciating local currencies create a severe dilemma for repayment. 
The value of the dollar has doubled over the years, making it incredibly challenging for nations to meet their debt obligations. The IMF even demanded debt restructuring as a prerequisite for further assistance. This brings us to vital discussions about who is lending to Africa, at what interest rates, how risk is assessed, what collateral is accepted, and the denomination and tenure of these loans. These issues are pivotal because, as long as Africa continues to borrow in dollars while its currencies remain volatile, repaying these loans will remain an enduring challenge. He emphasized that canceling debts would allow funds to be redirected towards rebuilding infrastructure, schools, hospitals, businesses, and livelihoods. Malawi remains committed to implementing reforms and policies aimed at building economic resilience and seeks international support to go beyond disaster management and foster sustainability. What do you think about Malawi President Lazarus Chakwero's call for the INF and World Bank to cancel their debts, citing their inability to pay? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and as always, do subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.